Hi guys, my name is Kieran and I'm one of the uh, presenters for this video. Hi, my name is Fang Wen. I'm responsible for preparing the questions. Hi, my name is Nur Aziza and I will be presenting one of the questions for this video. Hi, my name is Siti Nabila. I'm one of the people that uh, prepare the question. Hi, my name is Fariha. Um, I'm uh, responsible for preparing the question. Okay, bye bye. Hi, I'm Siti Hawa. Me and Said will doing for report part. Right, so I'm going to start by showing you guys how to derive this equation over here, which is the equation we'll be using throughout this video from this equation over here. The equation that we normally use to find the arc length of Cartesian coordinate. If you look closely in the first equation, you'll see that there's this two differential of x and differential of y in terms of theta respectively. To find them, you can do it by differentiating these two equations in terms of theta and using product rule, you'll get this equation too. And if you continue by squaring them, there's two parts, you'll get this third equation. And looking closely, you'll see that this set of data and this set of data, they're basically the same, only with different signs. So they cancel each other out and you could also factorize dr d theta squared and also r squared. Therefore you'll get the fourth equation which is this one. And if you remember that, well the identity that you should already be knowing, the one of the basic trigonometric identities, you'll find that you'll be multiplying this one with 1 as well as this r square with 1 and you end up with the final equation the equation of finding the arc length of polar coordinate the question asks to find the arc length given the r equal to 0 to 2 pi and then we expand this 2 and it becomes the square of 4 plus 8 cos theta plus 4 cos square theta and plus 4 sin square theta d theta from 0 to 2 pi and as we know that cos square theta and sin square theta is equal to 1 so we factorize it and we get the square of 4 plus 8 cos theta plus 4 d theta and then we can add this and it becomes square of 8 plus 8 cos theta d theta from 0 to 2 pi so, uh, we sim simplify it and, and we move outside and it becomes 2 uh, square
For the next question, we have to find the length of this equation given that theta ranges from 0 to pi. We'll use this as our main equation, having it integrate in terms of theta ranging from 0 to pi. We'll start by differentiating r in terms of theta so that we'll get this value and squaring it to get this value. We must also not forget r squared, which we would use later. Summing up r squared with the uh, square of differential of r in terms of theta, we'll get this equation. And further in the process, we'll just have to square root n. And notice how 16 is factorized out from sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. And since we know that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals to 1, it then proceeds to equal to 4 set 1, which equals to 4. After that, the value of 4 can simply be substituted to this equation. And we'll just have to integrate 4 in terms of theta from 0 to pi. And in the end, we'll get 12.5663 as our answer. Okay guys, I will explain for this particular question. Find the length of curve r equals to theta squared minus 1, which is theta equals to 1 to theta equals to 2. So as we already know, we can find the length of curve by using this equation. So it's better for us to settle down the things under the square root first, which is r squared plus dr over d theta squared. So we just substitute the r here into the r and the r over the theta we can get after we differentiate um, theta squared minus 1 which is 2 theta. So after we solve it we can get this. So based on the equation there is square root here. So we just put the square root and this will be cancelled out. So here we can just solve it by using the basic integration working and we can get the answer. Thank you.